Hello, my fellow YouTubers. This is Roy back again. Well, I finally started building me a Tesla coil. Watching all the boys out there having fun with their toys. Um, that's my top load. Right there is my secondary. It's a 14 gauge wire. It's about eight foot long. Down bottom I got uh, my quarter inch copper tubing for a primary. I have that bucket sitting on top of another bucket and the bucket inside of that is wound with 14 gauge insulated wire and it's probably got about 10 turns and the bottom of that I'm kind of using the Warden Cliff Colorado Springs mixture here this Warden Cliff one here shows the outside primary as C the interior bucket wrapping coil is the tickler one which is uh, a coil a it goes to ground earth ground and the top of coil a connects to the start of the b coil which is the secondary so you got c interior a and then b and then it goes up to the top layer and what's driving this, um, I got coming out of the wall to my uh, Variac, to my 15,000 volt transformer, NTS. Then I got my two capacitors here. Um, I do have my rotary gap that I'm working on, I'm having problems with it, um, using that metal blade. And it's it's catching my wood on fire on my table. So I'm gonna to have to reconfigure that to be a better rotary gap so I can start snapping this uh, primary over here and um, see where it goes from there. Um, I'll give you a little, uh, I'll start it up just briefly. You won't be able to talk because you won't be able to hear me. But sometime today, I'm going to be moving all this ozone crap out in my outside area. Then inside, I'll have my coil outside. I'll have my control with it. And then what I'll do is uh, put a kill switch in here somewhere in case it starts getting radical. Um, I'm not really pumping stuff out of the top yet. But I think that's where the rotary gap is going to come in. So uh, let's turn it on and we'll give it a little test run. See the light bulb lighting in the back already. Alright guys, leave some comments. 